Hey, 235, Tuesday, May 14th. Dr. Sunstein Linda's crying right now because they just told her, probably gonna have to bring her in tonight, put her in the hospital, do a procedure tomorrow, and then let her go the next day. You have to put in some drains. How long are they gonna keep her in the hospital this time, though? They let you go home for a week, though, didn't they? <laughs> They're just teasing you, right? Letting you go home for a week. Now they want to do more, right? What it seems like. Yeah, you know, what do you want to do? I guess I got to get it done. You gonna let them do it here? I have to get healed. Are you gonna let them do it here? I have no choice right now. Love you, mommy. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, right now the there's two little stones that is like embedded in the muscle there in the back. Everybody thought the kidney was the source of the infection, but now they're saying, you know, want to drain it a little bit, a couple of drains, and then uh, in that one spot, they're going to want to open it up pretty deep, flush it out real good, wash it out real good, take the stones out that are in there because there's a pus pocket and uh, pack it with gauze and you know, keep it packed over a few weeks, let it heal from the inside out. But right now, up in the abdomen, y'all can see her leakage from the, from the uh, wound on her shirt there. That's where the wound is leaking. The ostomy is doing good. Had a nurse take a look at that this morning. Did separate, and now it's considered a wound too, but she packed it with some silver infused gauze and showed us how to do it and put a different kind of bag on it. So that's all good, just getting the infection and the collections of fluid in the abdomen and the back. So we don't know what's gonna happen just yet. But they're just probably gonna put you back in the hospital tonight or in the morning, huh, Linda? Yeah. Yeah, all right, well then guys, we'll see y'all in the next one.